Good afternoon to all. I am Jilokeshwari, Assistant Professor of Computer Science, ADM College for Women, Nagapatinam. Now we are going to discuss the topic is multiplexing. Multiplexing in mobile computing. Multiplexing is a technique used in the area of electronics and signal processing. In mobile computing, telecommunications and computer networks, multiplexing is a method that can be used to combine multiple analog or digital signals into one signal over a shared medium. The main aim of using this method is to share a scarce resources. For example, you can see a real life examples of multiplexing in the telecommunication field where several telephone calls may be carried using one wire. Multiplexing also called muxing. History of multiplexing. The concept of multiplexing was originated in telegraphy uh, in the year 1870s. Nowadays, it is widely used in communication. George Owen Square is called the father of multiplexing in telephony. He was created the development of telephone carrier multiplexing in the year 1910. Multiplexing is a technique that allows multiple simultaneous analog or digital signals transmission across a single data link. The main motive behind the development of multiplexing is to provide simple and easy communication. Uh, the proper resource sharing and its utilization. This is the best way to utilize and share a limited resource equally among multiple devices. There are four types of multiplexing. The first one is frequency division multiplexing. We are called FDM. Then second one is time division multiplexing. We are called TDM. Then third one is code division multiplexing. We are called CDM. The fourth one is space division multiplexing. We are called SDM. The first one, frequency division multiplexing. The frequency division multiplexing or FDM is inherently an analog technology. As the name specifies, in frequency division multiplexing, the frequency dimension spectrum is split into smaller frequency dimension spectrum. It's split into smaller frequency bands also. It combines several smaller district frequency ranges signals into one medium and send them over a single medium. In FDM, the signals are electrical signals. FDM's most common applications are a traditional uh, radio or television broadcasting, mobile or satellite stations or cable televisions. Uh, for example, of frequency division multiplexing, in cable TV, you can see that only one cable is reached to the customer's locality. But the service provider can send the multiple television channels or signals simultaneously over the cable to all customers without any interference. The customers have to tune the appropriate frequency to access the required channel. In frequency division multiplexing, in this diagram we can see the several frequency bands can work simultaneously without any time constraints. The concept of frequency division multiplexing applies to both analog signals and digital signals. It facilitates you to send multiple signals simultaneously within a single connection. The disadvantages of FDM is it is less flexible. Then in FDM the bandwidth wastage is very high. Then uh, what are the uh, places are used in FDM is radio and television broadcasting, then stations, cable TV, etc. Then second one is time division multiplexing. We are shortly called as TDM. The time division multiplexing is a, a digital or analog technology. In rare cases, that they use a time instead of space or frequency to separate the different data streams. It is used for a specific amount of time in which the whole spectrum is used. The time frames for the same intervals are divided so that you can access the entire frequency spectrum at the time frames. In this diagram, we can see the time division multiplexing, the time then frequency is split into smaller sizes. Next we can see advantages of time division multiplexing. It facilitates a single user at a time. It is less complicated and has a more flexible resources in architecture. 
the disadvantages of tdm is it is not easy to implement then uh, when the places are uh, used in the tdm the telephonic services mainly used in tdm services the third type is code division multiplexing the code division multiplexing allows a unique code every channel so that of these channels can use the same spectrum simultaneously at the same time in this diagram we can see the code division multiplexing the time frequency and the channel uh, the advantages of code division multiplexing is it is highly efficient it faces fewer interferences then disadvantages of tdm is the data transmission rate is slow it is very complex tdm used in cell phone spectrum technology uh, in 2g and 3g technology then fourth type is space division multiplexing can shortly call as sdm it is a combination of frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing it passes messages or data parallel with the use of specific frequency at a specific it means a particular channel will be used against a specific frequency band for some amount of time these are included in advantages disadvantages and usage of <coughs> sdm advantages of sdm is the data transmission rate is very high then the time and the frequency bands at a maximum at the potential level then disadvantages of sdm is an inference occurs then it faces high inferences is lost uh, usage it used in gsm technology gsm abbreviation is global service for mobile technology uh, in sdm used in gsm technology next the modulation in mobile computing the modulation is a process mixing signals with a sinusoidal to produce a new form of signals a newly produced signal has certain benefits over an unmodulated signals mixing of low frequency signals and high frequency signals it carries signal is called a modulation in other words you can say that modulation is the process of converting one form of signals into another form of uh, signals uh, for example analog signals to digital signals or digital signals to analog signals it is called a modulation the modulation is also called a signal modulation for example let understand the concept of signal modulation by a simple example suppose an analog transmission medium is available to transmit signals but you have a digital signal that it needs to transmit it through this analog medium so to complete this task you have to convert the digital signals into analog signal the process of conversion of signals from one from another form that is called a modulation the analog to digital or digital to analog next concept is why we use modulation the baseband or low frequency signals are not such strong and compatible with the signals that can be used for direct transmission to make the signals travel longer distance we have to increase their strength by modulating with a high frequency carrier waves this process does not affect the parameters of the modulating signal the modulation is used to make the message carrying signal strong to be transmitted over a long distance and establish a reliable communication a high frequency signal can travel up to a longer distance without getting affected by external disturbances in modulation uh, these type of high frequency are used as a carrier signal to transmit the message signal this process is called a modulation in modulation the carrier signals parameters are changed according to the instantaneous values of the modulating signal uh, another reason to modulate a signal is to allow a smaller antennas as we know that a low frequency signal would need a huge antenna an antenna needs to be about 1 by 10 the length of the wavelength of the signal to be efficient the modulation converts the low frequency signal into high frequency which has smaller wavelength and allows a smaller antenna the advantages of modulation following is the list of some advantages of implementing modulation in the communication system 
uh, first one is by implementing modulation the antenna size gets reduced before modulation technology the antenna used for transmission had to be very large the range of communication gets limited as the wave cannot travel to a distance without getting modulated the range of communication has increased <clears throat> then third advantage is the reception quality is immensely improved the receiver are allowed to adjust the bandwidth then the multiplexing of signal occurs no signal mixing occurs then we can see the types of modulation primarily modulation can be classified into there are two types first one is uh, digital modulation the second one is analog modulation digital modulation the digital modulation is a technique in which digital signals or digital data can be converted into analog signals for example is baseband signals digital modulation also classified into there are four types the first one is ask amplitude shift key modulation second one is msk minimum shift key modulation third one is fsk frequency shift key modulation then fourth one is psk phase shift key modulation in this diagram the types is explained in amplitude modulation minimum shift key modulation frequency shift key modulation and phase shift key modulation the first type we can explain uh, then amplitude shift key modulation as the name suggest in amplitude shift key or ask modulation the amplitude is represented by 1 and if the amplitude does not exist it is replaced by 0 using the amplitude shift key modulation is very simple and it requires very low bandwidth amplitude shift key modulation is vulnerable to inference or detection <coughs> then minimum shift key modulation the minimum shift key or msk modulation is the most effective technique of modulation and it can be implemented for almost every stream of bits it is easy and effective than amplitude shift key modulation frequency shift key modulation and phase shift key modulation because msk is mostly used ability and flexibility to handle one and zero transition of binary bits and the frequency shift key modulation it is that that type of modulation in frequency shift key modulation a uh, different notations we are we are used f1 and f2 are used in different frequencies here f1 is used to represent bit 1 and f2 is represent to bit 0 it is also a simple modulation techniques but uses different frequencies for different size then different bits then different bandwidth it require becomes high then next one is phase shift modulation in phase shift modulation the phase difference is used to differentiate between 1 bit as 0 bit if the bit is 1 a simple wave is drawn if the bit becomes 0 the phase of wave is shifted by 190 degree or pi in psk modulation is more complicated than ask and fsk modulation but it robust to analog modulation in mobile computing there is a second type of modulation in analog analog modulation is a process of transferring analog low frequency baseband signal such as an audio or tv signal over a higher frequency carrier signal such as a radio <coughs> frequency band baseband signals are always analog to this modulation in other words you can say that analog modulation is a technique which is used in analog data the signal transmission into digital signals an example of analog modulation is broadband signals there are also three types of uh, carrier signals in analog modulation the type is amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation the analog modulation can be further be classified as am fm and pm next one is the difference between digital and analog modulation both digital and analog modulation are used to vary or transform signals from one form to another form but the difference is that an analog modulated signal is 
demodulated. Analog signal is demodulated into an analog baseband waveform. On the other hand, digital modulation, the digital modulated signal contains discrete modulation units. It is called as symbols that are interpreted as digital data. Amplitude modulation, the amplitude modulation or AM is a modulation technique that is used in electronic communication. It is most commonly used for transmitting the messages with a radio carrier frequency waves. It varies the instantaneous amplitude of the carrier signal or waves according to the message signal's instantaneous amplitude. If we denote the message signal as M of T and C of T equal to A cos WCT. Then the amplitude modulation signal will be written as F of T equal to A cos WCT plus M of T into cos WCT. Another one form is F of T equal to A plus M of T into cos WCT. In this diagram we can see the amplitude modulation, the carrier and the modulating frequency waves are going this way. Then history of amplitude modulation. The amplitude modulation was the earliest modulation technique used for transmitting audio in radio broadcasting. It was developed during the first quarter of 20th century and was based on the Roberto Landel D. Morris and Reginald. Then Fessenden's the radio telephone experiments proposed in 1900. Advantages of amplitude modulation. The amplitude modulation is easy to implement. It is the simplest type of modulation. Uh, in amplitude modulation, we can easily do demodulation by using few components and a circuit. The hardware design of both the transmitter and the receiver is very simple. That is why it is cost effective. Then the receiver used for amplitude modulation is very cheap. The disadvantages of amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation is not a very power efficient technique. Amplitude modulation requires a very high bandwidth that is equivalent to that of the highest radio audio frequency. Amplitude modulation is very susceptible to the noise. You can easily notice the noise. It is the disadvantages of amplitude modulation. In usage of amplitude modulation is AM radio communication, amplitude modulation radio communication. The radio broadcasting is an example of uh, amplitude modulation. Then second type is frequency modulation. The frequency modulation of FM is the process of encoding the information in a carrier way, the varying the instantaneous frequency of the wave. It varies the instantaneous frequency of the carrier signal according to the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. If we denote uh, the message signal as M of T and C of T, we can calculate the previous formula A cos WC T. Then frequency modulation signal F of T will be written as F of T equal to A cos WC T plus KZ into M of A then D of alpha. In the carrier signal frequency modulation, the waves move on the modulating signal. Next one, advantages of frequency modulation. The frequency modulation is widely used for the FM radio broadcasting, frequency modulation radio broadcasting. It is also used in telemetry, sound synthesis, then seismic prospecting, radar and monitoring, newborn of scissors via EEG. The two-way radio systems, magnetic tape recording system and the some video transmission systems. It is the main advantages of uh, frequency modulation is larger signal to noise radio. That is why it rejects radio frequency interferences. It is better than equal power of amplitude modulation signal. This is the main reason the most music radio channels prefer the broadcasting of FM frequency modulation. In frequency modulation and eddy modulation do not receive any channel noise. A disadvantages of frequency modulation. Frequency modulation consists of a complicated circuit 
then amplitude modulation for modulation and demodulation then the usage of frequency modulation the main example of frequency modulation is frequency modulation uh, radio broadcasting then the third type the third type is pm that is called pace modulation the pace modulation technique of varying the carrier signals instantaneous pace according to the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal uh, it encode the message signal as changes occur in the instantaneous pace of the carrier signal if we denote the message signal as m of t and c of t we calculate the value a cos wct then the pace modulation will be written as f of t equal to a cos wct plus t then kp m of t in this diagram we can see the carrier frequency modulation then pace modulation occurs in the waves advantages of pace modulation the pace modulation is mainly used for transmitting radio waves it's also used in many digital transmission coding schemes and technology such as uh, wi-fi gsm and uh, satellite televisions now we are using uh, wi-fi then satellite television also you can use the modulation is pace modulation in pace modulation the modulation and demodulation do not receive any channel noise then next one is disadvantages of pace modulation it consists of a complicated circuit then amplitude modulation and frequency modulation it is the most uh, purpose of the disadvantages of pace modulation then the usage of pace modulation the pace modulation is mainly used in wi-fi gsm and satellite television thank you all